Well, tucked away on the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport's property is an extended stay lodge called the Quail Run Lodge. Yeah, and dozens of people have lived in that lodge for years now, but they say they've been given notice that they'll soon have to find a new place to live. WTOC's Shea Schrader explains. Quail Run Lodge will soon be forced to close its doors after the Savannah Airport Commission has invoked eminent domain against the property. Daniel Connell has owned the place for the past 29 years, and he says now a lot of his long term guests are struggling to find other affordable housing. The people who have to leave are going to probably pay twice what they pay me if they can find a place, so they're very upset about it. Connell says he was given notice around a month ago that the 32 people who lived in building number 400 had to be out by the first of the year. People in the other buildings have until July. One of those people is John Saxon, a retiree who's lived at Quail Run for 10 years. He was given this notice. It's just like a joke, man. It's just something that came up unexpected and you just didn't know how to handle it or what to do with it. I'm searching for senior living and all that kind of stuff and I'm just not having very good luck uh, finding things that will stay within my financial means. In the notice given to people like Saxon, Connell says that he's quote fought with the airport commission for over five years with everything I had and I've been unsuccessful. Connell says he has seven years left on his lease, but now that he has no choice but to give up the lodge by July, he just wants to be fairly compensated. If you could come up with enough funding to purchase the buildings from me that I could buy another hotel, move all of my employees and all of my guests with me, I would work that out with you. But as it turns out, the funding level is nowhere near adequate to do that. I did reach out to the Savannah Airport Commission and they said that they weren't able to comment because this situation is still under litigation. Reporting in Savannah, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.